encore deux soirs. Encore deux soirs. Il dit rien deux soirs, on a mouru. Oui, t'as dit quoi, Père Avant d'avoir pu y dire, il y a deux soirs, il y a un peu de temps. Thank you. 
Tuba niliza nyomu ni nyari ya muka mawafe yesu Tuwa galoku iba za katonda Ulonu na kuruno Kubanga kufe avachari avalamu Soboto kufe ya okulaba no kuelekela No kusobe lukuba avajuliwa Kulamu wa dokita sikuma Ya tumulte kumaso Kale katani ke kukusaba Yesu kuliswe yoke ibigambo vilonga agamba anti Nze kuzuki ya nubulamu. Akiliza nze ni wanku madenga mfude aliba mulamu. Na huli mulamu akiliza yesu utalifa emelebe emelebe. Yopu na yonge rompinyweza. Nagamba ki manyigo mluluzi wange haba mulamu. Elangari mina kuse komelero. Ele tibari ombili kwa 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 Ela na yonge loku minyweza nga gamba anti. Tetu wale tachintu kunsi. Ela kumanga tetuweza kujia mchintu. Mukama ya tuwa omwa anono. Ela mukama ya mjewo. Eli nyari ya mukama. Diyewa zewe. Abo Luganda. Tuke ilo kusoma za buli. Ea satu mwo mwenda. Bayimbi muna jimba. Bayimbi. Psalm 39 Katukenele wamo walu waba mani Nga wetambula Abajina kubitawu ya feli kusimu Na yoke nanti Neku manga makubo gange, nemo kono nyano limi wange, na sivanga kamwa kange nolu koba, omubinga limaso gange, na sili walokuta yokela, na silika, ni wangu wa demi nojisa yokela, na kuwala kwa ngele kwe yongela, omutima kwa ngele kwa kamunda yange, wena lindo oza, omunino neku kolera, nemo kanyo gano limi wange, mkama, otele se mkumele yange, Muzika Mukwe mwenye sobi, kutikie mwenye yonono biyangi biyona, tofula chikume ya kusuzu. Na sili wala, sasa miyaka mwaka nge, kubanga wachikola, mwazitie kwa mkoko, malitua mama nyolo kwa kwa mkoko, kuhuli ya mkoko, no kutenya ulo kutari kutokiriku, umanya kutara kutonjikwe, nge jenzi, maziba, kule mwuzu mwaka. Ujiro kusaba kwa angi, ayo kama. Ukiriso kusaba kwa angi, tusika, mazika kwa angi. Kwa angi, ndi mugeni nijoli, umutamuze, nga bagia diange mwona kwebali. Onsa asile, ndi okendili mwa amanyi, nga sina vamono, nesile lao. Echiwa, chitafe, nerio mwana, nerio mwoyo mtukubu, nga wakari ongelebeje, Wajine kaka no, wajiba, emele 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 emele, amina. Abo luganda katule, sume, chundu chitoka. Oh, yeah, boy, I'm getting...
kumari duao, ena kuzangezi wete, entana ene teke de teke de, mazima wali wo abakudaze jendi, leli soliwela, mukusoso ukeleza kwa we, leta nino akakalu, onei mire, jori wika, wali wo ani, ana wakana angana angi, mkono, kumango mkisiza mutima kwa we, kuhuta tegeda, Chono bango le ma, ukuba kumiza. Oyo, alo pani kwa no je, ukuba umoyiko. Ela maso gaba na be, gali kwa wo. Ela na afute, echi gambo, echi ukuba wa kemba. Ela mpuse, echi enyara, morato. I am going to read it again in English. Uh, we are reading Job 17, verse 1 to 6. It says, My spirit is broken, my days are cut off. The grave awaits me. Surely mockers surround me. My eyes must dwell on their hostility. Give me, O oh Lord, the deed you demand. Who else will put up security for me? You have closed their minds to understanding. Therefore, you will not let them triumph. For if anyone denounces their friends for reward, the eyes of the children will fail. God has made me a grower to everyone, a man in whose face people spit. Kwa hivyo kwa tukule mbele mbili mbalu no, msatu, ana msatu, chukumi ana mtano mbikati.
समय इतना रहता हो कोई नहीं John chapter 14, from verse 1 to 6, it says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, could I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. That's why Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where we are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered in verse 6, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Say that you know, I never wanted to put a better, the MC, a plugin in the Engeli, a little bit of a look, take a walk, one of the You're all very welcome to my name, sir. Umaka, the engineer, Robert Mangari. But not the same way now. I was saying, what to see it up home. We got our faith, Dr. Martin Sutoma. To my name, sir. Umaka, the no. Mwe vale. Kudu, kirina mwe vale. Uri na mlanga kwa kite. Um, we are going to go to the Langon of Ritz, and because there are a number of Ritz, you have shown Dr. Martin your love, you have shown this family your love. Um, we are going to play some instrumental music while we lay the Ritz, and we will begin with Tata Mangani. Tata Mangali will lay the first prayer. And he will be followed by Nalongo Elizabeth Situma and her family. Please prepare to come. The Mbavazi family will be next. The Mbavazi family. Julia Kulwoch and family, you are next. Please come and lay your rest. Why 
while Stephen and Julie Nassimolo and family, please come. Prepare to come. Stephen and Julie Nassimolo. After them will be Tezira and the girls. Tezira and the girls. Henry and Becky. Henry and Becky. After Tezra and the girls will be Henry and Becky. As Joshua and Stella. Joshua and Stella. These are the siblings of the late Dr. Martin. Uh, prepare to come. Joshua and Stella. Students are going to be Koja, Koja, and family. Koja, Kasana, and family. Koja, Kasana, and family. You are after Joshua and Stella. After them, we'll have Mama Damari Kayondo and family. Koja Kasana. Mama Damali and family. Mama Damali Kayondo, your next.
Then cousins from Magere prepared to come. Cousins from Magere and cousins from Bale, you are next in line. Liz's aunties are making their way to lay their wrist. Thank you so much. After Liz's aunties, we'll have the cousins from Magere. Cousins from Magere. After which, we'll have the cousins to Martin from Bali. We'll also have the pediatric surgical unit from Barra Regional Referral Hospital. These are Martin's cousins, Dr. Martin's cousins, paying their last respect. While they do that, I'm requesting that the pediatric surgical unit from Barra Regional Referral Hospital, the representatives, These are the cousins from Magere. Cousins from Bali. Cousins from Bali. Please come and pay your last respects. From Valley come, the cousins from Valley here, the pediatric surgical unit from Barra Referral Hospital, Regional Referral. Uh, pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja, representatives of Pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja, please come next. from the pastors of Dr. Martin from Miracle Center, Pastor Arthur Musamba and his wife are here to leather read on behalf of Pastor Jessica and Robert Kayanja. After that we'll have um, Stella's family, Alexaria of Chalawa Joshua, Stella's family, please come and lay your wreath. After them we'll have the Rwanda's family. I hope I'm saying it right. I will be back to Zarida, Astella, Chala, Joshua. The Rwanda's family, you are coming next. Rwanda family. We'll have the Rotary Club of Guevacha. Laying the rest is the Renda family now. After whom we'll have the Rotary Club of Guevacha. Rotarians, we are waiting on you. The Rotary Club of Guevacha. The Rotary Club of Guevacha. After whom we will have uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Situma's friends prepare to come. The friends of Elizabeth Situma, please begin to make your way. That is the Rotary Club paying their last respects. Wisdom Square, Wisdom Square 96 to 
2001, the Wisdom Square. Wisdom Square 90 to 01, after whom we will have the UCC PIR unit. This is the Wisdom Square 96 to 01, paying their last respects to their colleague, Dr. Martin. After them, we'll have the Wisdom Square. Sorry, after this, we'll have UCC PIR unit. UCCPIR unit. I think I'll read the number so that you can make your way to the front. UCCPIR unit. After them, we'll have the Budo Class 1990. After them, we'll have Sarah and Marcus. If you can begin to make your way um, to the front. This is the UCCPIR unit. Budo class 1990. Budo class 1990. Can you begin to make your way to the front? Sarah and Marcus, prepare to come to lay your rest. That's the Budo class 1990. Sarah and Marcus. Sarah and Marcus, please make your way. Sarah and Marcus, after whom we'll have the Friends of Tess, Friends of Tess, Friends of Tess Zero, Tess Zero is a sister, to Dr. Martin, please make your way to the front. After the Friends of Tess, we'll have the Kalpa Ministries. These are Tezra's friends. Thank you for being here. Gal Power Ministries, you lay your wreath next. Pastor Julia Uwoch is one of the pastors that works with Pastor Jessica under the Gal Power Ministries. He's a representative of the Gal Power Ministries. After whom we'll have Mr. and Mrs. Sentamu Andrew. Mr. and Mrs. Sentamu Andrew. Please come and lay your hand. Mr. and Mrs. Sentamu Andrew. At Budo Kings College, Canada House, 1990. Prepare to move to the front as Mr. and Mrs. Sentamu Andrew make their way. Kings College, Canada House. Rito <coughs> Kings College, Canada House, 1990. Paying their last respects to their friends. Uh, Martin. The Association of Surgeons of Uganda is laying their wreath next. The Association of Surgeons of Uganda. We have the Pediatric Surgery Foundation after them. The Association of Surgeons is making their way to lay a rest and pay their respects to one of their very own. Pediatric Surgery Foundation will come after that. Pediatric Surgery Foundation will lay their rest Thank you so much. As the Pediatric Surgery Foundation makes their way, the Pediatric Hematology Oncology Global Hope Program, please make your way as well.
Pediatric Surgery Foundation is playing their rent. After whom we'll have the Pediatric Hematology Oncology, the Global Hope Program. Do we have representatives for the Pediatric Hematology Oncology Global Hope Program? Monago Hospital? making his way to the front. A representative of Pediatric Hematology Oncology, Global Hope Program. Thank you so much. That is the Pediatric Hematology Oncology Global Hope Program from Lago Hospital. In the last perspective, we'll have Span House, Span House, where the Mangali family has had um, an operation running. Span House. Thank you. Then we'll have Mara Regional Referral Hospital Community. Representatives from the Marara Regional Referral Hospital community. Those are the lives that Dr. Martin has spent his life ministering to. Marara Regional Referral Hospital community, we welcome you. We are waiting on a representative of the Ambara Regional Referral Hospital Community. After whom we'll have Emmanuel and family. Thank you for traveling so far to mourn with us. Thank you for honoring Dr. Martin. After that, we'll have Emmanuel and family. Emmanuel and family, please. Emmanuel and family. Then the Kasese District colleagues. Kasese District, thank you so much for traveling to be here with us. We are honored to have you here, Kasese District colleagues. Dr. Martin served in a number of areas. Kasese was one of them. And we are grateful that you're here. After them, we'll have a representative from Rockware Span House. Rockware Span House. Rockware Span House. Uh, as the old Budonians, old Budonians have a rent today. Old Budonians, please make your way. Department of Surgery, Barra University. Department of Surgery, Barra University. Department of Surgery, Barra University. After whom we'll have Bethany Kids. Bethany Kids. Bethany Kids, please come and lay a rest. We're waiting on you, Bethany Kids, to come and lay a rest. Once again, we want to thank you so much 
put one orange of tomato in and showering him with your love. Kugenda <laughs> Abaino ubaka mwina, mchio wano, kumuchiku no, wali tata, wali ya baku wato ubaka. Kwa akala okwe vata MC, atulonga meza mwonji nyo, era nukua mkolo kuno. Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
night we call our group with our square. And we never have been supported, Martin, in 11 ways. Martin, I would say briefly, I mean, a lot has been said about him from church yesterday, uh, from the messages you see from all over the world, from places where he has worked, from schools he attended, from places where he lived. But the biggest thing about him, like, on summary, he said, from church, that he was a very humble man. Very humble. I don't know what to say was quiet, not quiet, but he was a bit quiet, but also something very humorous. So I think it was quiet, but also he talks when he has to talk. And that's what you know about him. Uh, you can imagine somebody who was quiet, but this was the first time I think in a long time. We had one of the biggest stands up in our class together, ever since we finished in 2001. We've been trying to organize get together, but we couldn't get such big money. But Martin is dead, we all gathered together. I happen to go with Martin in the head for my first, I mean, first year to fifth year. Then also during masters, his other classmates were Dr. Bennett, Minister, and others. So even his medical school masters class were the same people who were undergraduate. And so we also came together yesterday. But uh, in summary, Martin above all was a very good hearing man. And also most of us here were members of the fellowship. And you see he was our papa. Papa was a chairman of the Christian medical fellowship that day. I think from second year to fifth year he was our papa. So meaning in two ways, I was our friend, I was also our pastor, our dad, our father in the fellowship. And those roles are played for the world. We stayed together in the Christmas village, also during master, so also interacted there. And my wife kept asking me, how is that now in Because he was always playing with our boy when he passed his home. He was quite much with his feelings. So he's really a great loss for all of us. And above all, in terms of surgery. And one of the hardest things we've gone through of us in surgery you know, is master. It's a very difficult time to study surgery. Studying, working, not to feed yourself, but sometimes it wasn't paying us anything. But still much you need to manage. All is this man and then bang on the back studying. And I think I know if you've had the time of mourning, but I must also take the time of celebrating in life. So it is a sad thing. Elizabeth, we met together with you. I was also Martin's best friend at his wedding. So it's really sad. I mean, the time was sick, so this problem was, but it was a difficult time. We tried, people tried what they could do. Friends in Barara, friends in the pediatric surgery unit, friends in Madrid. Everything they tried much. I think what they did is that. So, uh, maybe, maybe the last group. I was also the best friend, but we had last and then we had other state men, other than family, I think it was for working in different places. At different places in country. But I want to thank you all for giving Martin such a good send off. Like Pastor said in church yesterday, there were so many speeches. I've seen so many reps. You go from Paris and there are two, three reps on it. When you represent him, nobody comes but here. So many reps. So many. Everybody can give a speech about Martin. But let's just pray that God will receive him when he's there. We are very comfortable and very confident. I personally, I'm for the sense that personally, I don't write and I write in Christian things because I know. God gives all of us a chance when we start to work for our future. So you need the right one million rest in Italy. And you left without your account in heaven. Without your visa, you can't go there. But today we are very confident that the man laying before us had the visa to leave him. So you don't have right rest in peace. We are very sure he's going to rest in peace. For us who are here, when our time comes, don't make people waste ink by writing rest in peace. If you don't make peace with God, rest in peace won't take you to heaven. Make peace now, when you can still talk, when you can still act. But when you die, if I come, I will not rather rest in peace. Because I'm a Christian, I'm born again. I'm not going to heaven, you walk on it before you go. Which our friend did. I end by saying, work on your visa now. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dr. Kumu, and all the friends of Dr. Martin. We appreciate you being here. Next we'll have Dr. Sekarira on behalf of the medical fraternity to give us a chronology of Martin's illness.
So when the Martinique finished Cape Town, he went to Chijabe and came and did the fellowship exams. That time it started to his head in the Zimbabwe Harare. And the Martin really impressed all the examiners. Because he was my country mate, I couldn't take examine him. But you could see all the professors, and these are very skilled professors from all over the world. I remember Professor Youngson from Aberdeen University came and he dropped to me and said, you have a fantastic student. This is going to make a very good pediatric surgeon. And from then, Martin did look back. When he came, uh, he had a stint in Ichijabe, and when he came, he came with the Professor Dan Penaru, of course, had also impressed Dan Kenya. So they wanted to establish a center here in, um, in Uganda. When they came to Mulago, they came to me and they said, where can we go? And we looked around, of course, in Mulago, where at least we had some semblance of presence in Mulago. So we thought another regional referral hospital, where we are getting a lot of patients, because Mbarara gets patients from DR, Congo, Rwanda, all over the place. So all these patients were coming from the Western Axis. And you could see patients coming with the complications because they had not been managed properly. And we could see this is the area where I wanted to sit in the pediatric surgery. So with the Danny Panero, Professor Danny Panero from another Bethany Kids, we agreed that the place to go was Kenya. And from now, rather to go to was in Barara. And then I would like to thank Bethany Kids because they did a lot to establish that unit in Barara National Repair Hospital. And of course, when Martin went there, we had other collaborators. First and foremost, I want to call my friend here, Toru, Professor Toru Pozigezis from University of California, San Francisco. He traveled all the way to come to attend Martin Senno. So, because of Martin's, I mean, this is incredible. And of course, there are so many other organizations who have helped, as I said, PAPSA, the Public Association of Pediatric Surgeons, Oxford University. We had individual people, actually, Professor Nuru Tamara, who was here the other day, she spent the night here, Tamara Fitzgerald from University of Duke, and then uh, Monica Langa, these people who are contributing the money which sustained the first fellows who went to Mbarara University, the other people who went to Mbarara Pediatric Surgery Unit. We have Dr. Wesonga there because of those people, they managed to go through the Pediatric Surgery Fellowship. And that is supported the margin because him alone will not be able to work in that unit. So those people really deserve a lot of thanks. And this way are their personal contribution, not any other person. Then that's how the Pediatric Surgery Unit in Mbarara developed. And it has done, Martin has not disappointed us because it has trained the people. As you know, training in a fellowship needs someone to be there and so on. So it doesn't, you can't be away as you train a fellow. You have to be hands on, as you heard from the testimonies from the fellows who are there working with Martin. So Martin's presence contributed a lot. And of course, as you have heard, training even three pediatric <coughs> students in the whole country. That means a lot. And Martin, his works, I don't speak. I think we have to leave it. Martin is going to leave a long lasting legacy by his works. Now, how would we start talking about Martin's sickness? Because I was asked to talk about Martin's sickness. Maybe I'm not qualified to talk what the events which preceded, but we started hearing about Martin's sickness. First and foremost in December, I called him because we are trying to discuss the training programs. And when I called him, I told him I want to meet in the company. For some reason, he didn't come. And I was wondering, hey, when you come to Kampala, come and we meet and we discuss. He didn't come. Then I started hearing that Martin is not well. And then I tried to call to say I'm seeing a physician, I'm, I'm going to be well. And then all the time we hear much is not well. Then we couldn't make a diagnosis, proper diagnosis. But at 
Let me go for the day, probably I would like to go. Oh, I don't know whether he's a physician is around. Dr. Muyengo Moses. Because he was the one handling him in the Dr. Muyengo has been with him in the Barara. When we are trying to try to see what, how can you make the diagnosis, what imagine is suffering from. So, uh, Dr. Hoku Fred had done a bone marrow from the Uganda Cancer Institute, and that is the only specimen we had. And we couldn't, we didn't know what we are treating, despite, despite the fact that his condition was deteriorating. So, Professor Doru, again, I'm not using this name, he helped us to take the specimen. University of California, San Francisco. And of course, there they have the facilities where they could do most of the tests we could not afford here. And that was when we got the diagnosis. And probably, it was, I would say, probably it was too late. Because we only managed to get the diagnosis, the last Thursday, the proper diagnosis, Thursday last week. And that's when we could figure and try to figure out what is happening. By then, we received the information that it's not well. He's going to ICU. From Barara, we arranged him to come to Mulago. And in Mulago, we arranged a team of specialist physicians, and all came to Martin's Rescue. And the, I don't, most of them are not here. We have necrologists, endocrinologists, physicians, name it, and my oncologists, and all. Actually, in record time, they had all come to Martin's rescue. But unfortunately, this condition is continued deteriorating. And uh, I think at around on Thursday, on Wednesday, on, eh? on Thursday morning, at, at around uh, 6 a.m., Felix called me that Martin has crashed. I said, what? Couldn't imagine this. Much as we thought he was sick, we thought he's on the way to recovery because he had in the same plans of very many specials and we thought he's going to get the best care possible. But he, he got at his ways, he crashed, we all came. By the time I came, I found Dr. Annette Arenio, she's here, sitting. They had already started doing cardiopulmonary suspension. And I have to say, back, in, back at the back of my mind, I didn't think it's when we are going to succeed, but we had to try. So these doctors tried, and I've never seen such a prolonged disappear. But unfortunately, Martin died. I think I can't say that we lost him at around maybe 7.30 Friday morning. So, on Thursday morning. So that's the brief and what I can say about Martin's life and Martin's sickness. But I would like to thank everyone. I want to thank Liz, Dr. Liz, the wife who has always been with him. I want to thank most the doctor Briania Felix. Uh, first and foremost, I convinced him to go to Mbarara, but I think he's not regretting to go to have him to Mbarara because I think he's receiving the best training in Barara and, and everyone who has treated the matching, I want to thank Dr. Muyingo because you have always been getting information, you always with, with him, and everyone who has, who, who has tried to save Martin's life. But as I've told you, this is a very big loss, and the entire world is really touched by Martin's life. And thank you. Maybe I don't know whether Dr. Mayim will have a question. Dear Mourners, it's uh, not easy to lose a brother because Martin was more than just a patient to me. I've known Martin for long. He was unwell, but he had a very strong heart. Um, over the months that we saw him, we had an opportunity.
opportunity to make what we thought was a difference. Uh, he lost blood, he, he required transfusions, he couldn't eat. And some of you who joined him for the camp in Lacho, I was with Dr. Kaima earlier, noticed that he had grown a little bit weaker. And from the time he was in Lacho to the time he returned to Mbara, there were multiple events. Uh, the condition is a complex one, um, where the body just makes different antibodies from those that should be normal. And in addition, it makes certain, we call them proteins, they go to different organs, and they start destroying the function of these organs one by one. And really, in a nutshell, that is what happened. I wouldn't want to prolong this more than, more than we have already. Thank you. Uh, maybe what I'll be forgotten, Martin had a vision, with it. we had a vision of developing pediatric units across the country. And that was also Martin's vision. No wonder he was going to regional referral hospitals, carrying out pediatric surgical camps. And as I talk now, Kids of Oil has pledged to establish pediatric surgery units in 10 regional referral hospitals. And so the onus is on us to train more pediatric surgeons so that Martin's legacy can be one. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Sekaria and the whole medical fraternity. And just before we have uh, Mrs. Elizabeth, we want to invite Dr. DeRock, who was also Martin's pastor. I think you can stay and uh, stand with him in solidarity. He came a mighty long way to oh, pay come, his come with respects to with him. Dr. Martin. <laughs> mm. yeah. You're welcome. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, I am as it is. I'm a pediatric surgeon. I have worked in California and the U.S. Uh, Martin has been a friend for many years. Um, I also consider this fraternity my brothers and sisters uh, for many years, going back almost 20 years that I've been coming to Uganda. Um, this is a very difficult day. Um, uh, the first thing is just uh, I think we're all heartbroken and incredibly sad for this loss uh, of this incredible human. Um, he achieved such an incredible amount in such a short amount of time. And um, Dr. Sekabir mentioned this, but he touched the lives of so many, not just those who are here, but I'm privileged maybe to represent all of those outside of Uganda who he touched in the US, in Canada, in South Africa, in Kenya where he trained, um, really, frankly, all around the world. And over the years, people came to know about Martin and his work, um, his dedication to his profession, the way that he built the unit in Embarara, and frankly, everyone was incredibly amazed at this work and said, how did you accomplish this? <clears throat> From that small nucleus of people that he built, he brought in many partners to strengthen everybody around him, and he was incredibly passionate about that. Um, this is, frankly, irreplaceable. It's also a legacy um, to build on. He was passionate about his family, Liz, the kids, um, um, and his family. He was also passionate about children and families. And I can say he went to every length to take care of every child that passed in his way. Every time someone would reach out for help, for a child, he would find a solution in situations where there appeared to be no solution, he would create one. Um, he was magical in that way, an incredible role model. He went deep into for outreaches to reach kids who were very far away because he saw them, he saw their future, he saw their families, and he would never stop. So for that dedication, that incredible dedication, um, it's an incredible, he was a role model for all the people that he worked with and, and an inspiring figure to us um, in, the, in the surgical fraternity and the medical fraternity. He was also incredibly passionate about training and teaching and skills transfer. He also would stop to no end to open up opportunities for all of the students around him. 
building the fellowship in Embarara was an incredible passion of his, teaching the residents in Embarara, the students, I see you in the back, I'm so glad you're here. He was incredibly passionate about this. It's because he wanted to, he saw the future in everybody, whether it was a patient, a colleague, a student, um, and he knew that the world was their oyster, and he had a way of bringing that out in everybody, even when they doubted it in themselves. And I think that is another thing I really admired him for, and that's why actually a lot of people wanted to work with him, because they knew he had their interests at heart. And I'll say, I see Anne Shikanda in the back, his first fellow, Felix, Charles, Peter, Innocent. Um, he saw the world in all of you. He knows that you can reach for the mountains and that you'll make it. He loved you so much. I can't even tell you over the years how much he's talked about all of you. So it's an incredible um, legacy where we've left to... Um, to build on. I would also say that um, we talked about Martin's sense of humor. Um, when he visited the U.S., um, we had a chance to have him visit our family in, uh, in Connecticut. Um, I told him some stories, and we sat around the table with my wife and my kids, and I will tell you, Liz, that we had some big laughs. He laughed so hard, um, we were all crying uh, about, uh, about reminiscing on some stories. He had an incredible sense of humor, and we will, we will miss that. So, this man of incredible integrity, um, Martin, um, we will miss you incredibly. Uh, I promise, Liz, the kids, we are here for you. Martin's family, we are here for you. Not just all the people here, but all the people I represent back home in the U.S. and Canada. We are here for you. This is a tremendous loss. But I also um, really want to celebrate everything that he's, he's, he's done in this life, and I pledge from all of us here and all of us who aren't here today to continue to build on this incredible legacy he's established. Thank you very much for allowing me to say a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. DeRock. Thank you so much to the medical fraternity. We appreciate you. I'm Dr. Martin. I'm going to to Next, we are going to have Nalongo Elizabeth Situma to give her speech. Thank God that by the time he passed, we had finished. Our children were all here. It was worth being one day. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. Today as we stand here, we are really celebrating. I never expected nothing to pass so quickly. No, I did not. 
really I was planning for life. But my husband was in Israel. About one and a half years ago, I think it was 2020, around June 10th, Martin started his family on a farm. Everyone had to start, even the rest. Apart from those two ladies, everyone had to start. He said the Lord was preparing us for a change, and all of us had to start. It was a bit complicated, but I remember he sat me down and he said, I've been praying, and he never explained it, so I was to trust him. And so I trusted him. So I outside, but he was fasting, <coughs> and he never explained. He expected me to trust him. He already said, you just have to understand that what I'm doing is for the good of us all. And so I trusted Martin, and those little ones fasted. They complained, they cried, they threw tantrums. Martin was adamant. They must fast. As we stand here today, I look back and reflect, why were we fasting? Why? He started to give me instructions and encouraging me that I can do anything. I shouldn't be afraid. I can do anything, anything God puts upon my heart, I must go ahead and do and trust God. That was our weird journey. It was a very, very weird journey. We had fellowship literally every day and prayer. He explained the word of God to his children. He broke it down. He had so much written on his computer, he was breaking it down from Genesis. He never explained. But maybe now I begin to understand. He always told me, I don't tell you things because I don't want you to worry. Just trust me. Just trust me. Always remember everything I do is for the good of you and your children. I believe that he had a message from God and that God's prayers, the prayers he prayed to him, will be answered. I believe that God knew something and that he knew something. And I believe that the God he served is faithful. I know Martin is in heaven, but I know that I don't know. I have no doubt at all. I know Martin is faithful. And I know that the God he serves is faithful. As we stand here, allow me to read from the book of Thessalonians. This verse, Martin presented it to almost every family fellowship. He always told the children of I in every supper, rejoice and praise. Pray without ceasing. In 
everything gives us, or this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Even when he was in pain, he rejoiced. He would start singing hymns, praise and worship. Even when we almost lost our little girl, Martin was praising God. He told me, don't worry, Jesus is going on. When we lost our first child, Martin was praising God. Martin did not see praising God. That verse was like our anthem. It was a, like our anthem. He would start fellowship. In the middle of it all, it's like he had to say, people, remember, in all things, rejoice. Rejoice and give thanks to God. As we send much see you, he has already gone now. As we return his body to the ground where it came from, let us remember to rejoice. This person that we are laying to rest, rejoice in all circumstances, good and bad. In happy times, in sad times, Martin would rejoice. Even when he was in pain, he would sing those songs that would run like him songs he loved. He would sing those Christian songs. He told me, get for me some songs. Get for me some Uganda YouTube videos. Play them for me. And you see him doing it. Or he would stand up and walk. And you think he's just mad. Because of money. During this time, Martin did not complain. He did not. He praised God. He did. He, he praised God. He said, let God have his way. Let God have his way. I have surrendered myself to him. And he kept on telling me, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to. He would tell me, I want to sleep. And he said, do you sleep as you wake up, okay? He says, I want to sleep. I would even shout at him and say, look here, we are sleeping and we are waking up. I'm not playing games. And he would be quiet and look at me. Because sometimes he treated me like our little sister. He would just look at me and say, I want to sleep. <coughs> me, I was planning for that. This man is going to die or something. Here. I want to thank you all for coming. I don't take it for granted. It's not that you have to come. It's you want to come. We are grateful. We don't have to stand with us, but you chose to stand with us. As we send him away, let us remain in faith. Let's not be discouraged. We may never understand all things, but God is faithful. God is let us remain in faith. Let us lay his body to rest in faith. That is the man we are looking at here. He was a man of faith. Extraordinary faith. Let us not disappoint him and disappoint his God. Let's remain in faith. God is in control. God is
walking with Martin and for giving us six beautiful children. And we know that what you have committed, he's able to keep the God that we believe in, the God that we trust. Um, at this point, we'll move on to the next speech. Um, I, I was going to request that the children stand up. Uh, can you please stand up? Martin's six beautiful children would like to see you and just wave to the congregation. We have a pair of twins. Beautiful girl. forsaken or his seed begging for bread. Um, we will now move on to the siblings, a speech from Martin's siblings. to say a few words uh, of what what Martin represented to us and, and what this loss means Teza. Standing with us, uh, with our father, with Martin's family, in such a really difficult time. Uh, behind me, and this, this is like a quarter of my uh, Martin's uh, brothers and sisters, that includes his cousins. to my siblings, I'm really proud of them. <coughs> there's, there's a special attachment to Martin, because uh, Martin never judged people. He was a peacemaker, and he loved God so, so much. I actually wonder how we are going to handle first January, because whenever we were together as a family, and always took time to pay up prayer, cleans, and he was particular about the songs he selected because they spoke more to the children, and he had this fun with all our children. We all struggled to be wondering how we're going to put these five children, how will they, how will they understand that Uncle Martin is normal? We could call him Uncle Martin, Uncle Murray. They would rap, they would dance with everything he had accomplished. You wouldn't imagine him you know, getting.
sitting down and being like a child. They would dance here on all those special days. I remember on his wedding, he wanted every, all the girls to be part of the entourage because they were children. I also want to say that uh, Martin did Mama's life a legacy, the humility, the love of God, integrity. Her mother was a very, very humble woman, a woman of God, a woman who had studied, she had met the whole here in this country. But mommy remained humble, mommy respected her father. She was a woman of God, and that's what we saw in Martin. Martin put his family first in everything, even when we tried to reach out, it was about my family. I remember last year, in June, we traveled to, was it June? We traveled to Mbarara. It was after, it was after Joshua's wedding. Martin had chaired Joshua's wedding meetings so well. We used to have these meetings on Zoom late in the night. And it was, that was the second wave of COVID. And Joshua requested that. He wanted to, to, to continue with the wedding dates. They are selected with Stella. So we'd have these meetings. First we had the meetings at some place in Bokoto, physical meetings. But eventually they were, were Zoom meetings because our oldest brother, Stephen, wasn't around. So we wanted to make sure we do this without, you know, without stressing daddy and the uh, other elders to be able to handle it as us. So when he failed to come for Joshua's wedding, we were disturbed. So like, you know what, let's, let's get time and travel from her. My elder sister, Aida, it's hard to get Aida. Aida was like, guys, we are going to see Martin Barra. So we bought two cars, and we traveled to Barra. Myself, Stephen, Becky, Henry, Joshua. And Joshua was at the top. With John, my other friend. Martin being Martin, we met in some place, some posh restaurant in Barra. Of course, he was making fun. Martin was very funny. I'm surprised that Sometimes you wonder how he gets serious with these medical things because he was so funny. He ordered, he ordered for pizzas, we ate wrong stuff because people are watching their weight. We ate pizza, we ate chicken, we ate chips, as in we misbehaved. We were eating, we happy to see our father. Like, how are you? How is the family? How is Liz? How are the children? We were excited to see Martin. And he was, he looked good. We were happy, like, you know what? Okay, Martin is fine. We are good to go. Travel back to Kampala, knowing that Martin is okay. So in April this year, I have a, I normally check on my brothers and sisters. I called Martin. I think I was coming from here. But I felt like eh, Martin hasn't been around. Let me check on Martin. I called him. I didn't sound good. I was concerned. So like Martin, you don't sound good. Are you okay? No, no, I'm okay. I said it's a pineapple and my tongue reacted, became heavy. Martin, are you sure you're fine? Martin would keep quiet. Okay. Even before mommy passed, Martin was sick, but Martin, mommy would tell him, Martin, Sigenda, Genda, Pakangomazemo, Kutundo. Sigenda, Pola, Pakangomazemo, Kutundo. That was Martin. So even this time, like, Martin, what is wrong? I insisted, Martin, are you okay? And my heart was heavy. I mean, I'm okay, it's just a pineapple, but I'll be fine. When I get overwhelmed with thoughts, I will call, I'll call Stephen, my other brother, my oldest brother. I'm like, Stephen, Martin, I keep talking to Martin, it doesn't sound good. I'm concerned. So, of course, we didn't get much information, and uh, we hope them think that he will be fine. Because after that, we, each one of us was like checking on him, they would call, Stephen would call. Each one of us would call. Like, Martin doesn't sound good. We were really concerned. So around that time, 
We have a cousin who wants to marry. Oh, Solomon. Solomon, thank you for standing with Martin. Solomon met Martin with a cannula in a supermarket and called her mother. Mama Damari. We panicked. Like, what's up with Martin? With a cannula? He told Solomon, Solomon, I'm happy to see you. I need to go and get my cream. Of course, Mama being Mama, and the only Mama we have, the entire Margaret is on Mama, Mama Damari. I know if she's around. She's handling each one of us. She's the only surviving aunt we have on, uh, on our mom's side. So she panics. Mama Wango, Mama Wango, Mama Wango. Mama Damari called Stephen. I want you to make arrangements and travel to Mbarara with Larry Martin. That time, Joshua was in trouble and she said, what's the number, Joshua? If you get time, that's by much no more. I'm young, I can be big-headed. If I feel like this people need to do something, I will tell them. So, she's in trouble to Mbara in November and uh, visited Matthew. Stephen and Ida have a habit of handling things between themselves because they think that we are too, we are young, okay, and you know, we are all about 35. <laughs> so they fidgeted. So I remember one time they called us one by one. Oh, this one's not well. Oh, How bad is it? Is. See, now we can't go there with Ida and Shula. I called Becky. Becky, have you? Joshua is a guy. But because he's the last one, and the father is very sensitive, we are careful on how we pass on information to him. So, of course, I also feel it with Big. Big, this is a situation. Stephen and Mama Martin is not well. It hooked out. You know, Daddy has no idea. Even our trip to her, Daddy had no idea. I'm sure he's getting to know now. So, between Ida and, and Stephen, they traveled to Mara, and the next one, see Martin. There wasn't much information that came out of that visit. But we still were worried as siblings because Martin was, has been there for each one of us. All these guys you see behind him, Martin is an inspiration to each one of them. But even still, we are putting that he enough, the, our cousins have no idea. We were running with Martin. Anyway, we kept on hoping to see Martin. So, Ida can be calm, but now the big sister in her came out. I'm back to Martin, I know of Richa, come back to get treatment. And she was really tough. She's like, if it means, she's like, I will do whatever it takes to make sure Martin comes to come back. And Mona, you have to excuse me, family is family. Ida was panicking. We could not, we needed to show that we were trying to do something. And for daddy not to know what was, we would get shocked at the end of the day. So anyway, Ida insisted and made sure Martin travels to Kampala. Ida was with Miracle Center, and we thought among ourselves, what do we do? Where can Martin go? If he comes home, daddy will be scared. And Martin was like, in his ways, Martin, Guys, I want, a, I want a place where, I want a neutral place where I can be visited by people. Got a very beautiful guest house belonging to Rebecca Miracle Center. They were, care, they were caretakers. And I remember myself and Julie, my Lumo, Julie Stevens' wife, received Martin that day. I first drove to Rebecca Miracle Center where my sister works with her. I'm like, what time is Martin arriving? Because now we're panicking. We never want to show daddy that he failed. So he didn't come to Lohoa. Well, they didn't come to Lohoa. We met him in, in Lohoa. Uh, uh, someone drove him to Lohoa. In his weakness, from Barra to Lohoa, in his weakness, I get to Lohoa, and I, I ask the ladies, where is, this? Where is Martin? She says, the guy has got a gun at the gate. Where is Martin? Has taken, has taken the 
gentleman who, who brought him to the bus park. I nearly died. I really, but you know, I sat there. I waited for my brother. Martin comes back. To be honest, I kind of I had to be strong. Julie broke down. I'm like, Julie, I cannot break down. Martin cannot see you like this. She, she disappeared. I'm very emotional, very, and I easily break down. But I told myself, Tess, you're going to be strong, but you cannot know that it is this bad. Martin comes back. Hey, Martin, how are you? You know, first you have given us some hint on what the situation was going to become. Martin, how are you? You know, you're I'm like, Jesus, Lord, what is this? And that night, we went and bought stuff to make sure he has eaten. I remember I crushed his medicine for him. I went to his room. Like, dream, it is okay. It is okay. All of us were in the war every day. The Roa, the, 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 the place we got for Martin is upscale, the Roa, where this, this year I see this. Very beautiful homes, very. Each one of us. I would go there, I live in Kisasi. Sometimes we live at nine, we would go there. Never day of Bulo, that was the way in the Let's get this. Beck, Becky will want to, she wanted to buy everything this year. Greens, chino, chili, we blended food, we done what? I there was the each one of us were like guys, we have to give up for Martin, we have to pull out of this. Anyway, Martin I will have long he came here for Easter, I remember. We danced with the kids, he came with his food. We sat in some chair there. He led the service, we have a guys to serve. He led the service. As usual, he danced with the kids, when Jesus in the boat, in the storm, in the boat, I can smile at the storm, with the children laughing in that sitting room. So now we're fine. I have a gamba baby, I feel like eating some fish. Fish, I'm gamba. Fish, I can't eat fish, or eat the fish. So much in the okay. Now we're fine, the tongue, actually, you told me no gamba, no gamba. I think the speech, that speech is improving. Is getting better. Remember one time Namuku with a sim because I realized there was something people talking about my family, my wife, my children. I was coming from some place. I called him and we prayed on phone. Number tells me that they knew. We prayed on phone with Martin in my car. Number tells me that they knew. I'm trying to summarize, but some things stand out. You forgive me. So, Martin Aveda Longi. And then he drove himself back to Marara. Martin drove himself back to Marara. And even read the WhatsApp call, the WhatsApps for Martin. To save Longi, thanks everyone. Remember, I got my Becky. She didn't get a chance to visit the Koma on TV. Like, eh, we're excited. I'd have been, I don't know, Martin, please come back. Please come back, but you said you're now. Probably, we didn't know why we had to come back and do lots of things. She insisted much more in Okuta. Let me go back, I bring my wife and children. Nama, it's okay, it's fine, it is okay. What will you do to relax, to be happy? Martin, I came back. That was the last, I remember the last time I was with Martin in the home. I woke up and it was a Saturday. I can be a busy bee tang on Saturday. Then you end the whole one. I'm going to be number test. I'm going to name mail carta. I'm going to take care of the chief. So I went with my whole staff. Then you end the spend the day with him. I massage him. I cut his nails. I just wait for like I never do this now because he couldn't couldn't fold his fingers like this. I'm going to wait for the new. Thank you so much. Then where are you? Either Becky or either had to come. Becky came. He even went to the bank and he threw money. 
in his sick, in, you know, I think he was in a lot of pain. You can remember the text, Priscilla Simueda with the, this is Priscilla's group. Think about everything. This is Mr. Nazi. He drove himself to what is wrong to make a, to do a transaction. Can I drive my sister? Or do have a WhatsApp group now? Madia or Martin? It's okay. No, like his patterns were put there. Martin? And I am. That was the last time I saw my brother. The transit tears. But after that, one week, two weeks, so I become my partner. My partners are coming here. They always excuses. Like I said, when either this when either becomes star, she's a big sister. Who is that? Martin. Martin is supposed to come back when he's actually. He's supposed to come back when he's actually. With this fuel, guys, four sets of people, including my um, mother and our uncle Isaac, traveled to Mara. But there, was, there wasn't much success out of the business. So we continued holding on to hope that Martin would be okay. Time came towards the last days. My only channel was daddy. No, daddy. Have you spoken to Martin and Liz? I spoke to Liz. Liz says he's improving. Okay, okay, which is good. Because we didn't, unfortunately, as a family, we did not have much information. And it hurts very much. I don't know what my sisters and brothers, I don't know what they would say, but personally, I have so many questions. And if they're not answered, I will never have closure. I'm being very honest. So anyway, this on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday night, we see our WhatsApp and we've been going to ICU. Like, oh, okay. You know, everything you're like, you're looking towards, like everything is going to be okay. Martin is a fighter. Martin is, we, we have this other picture of this funny Martin. Martin comes to ICU. Brother. They sent an ambulance to Mara to pick him, and they came to ICU, Madam. That story would be narrated by my elder sister. But on uh, Wednesday night, what happened happened. But every morning, I would type on the WhatsApp group, our WhatsApp group, we had a WhatsApp group called Dr. Sitoma, where my mother was, my two mothers were, and my other siblings, my sisters and brothers, to track, and for Jefferson, to track Martin's, you know, health. We would pray every day on Zoom for Jefferson, with all his dignity. He would arrange those calls with Auntie Damali. We had those calls every day from Monday, Zoom calls. We prayed every day on Zoom. I got to a point where I needed my boss to know because I was cluttered. And you don't want to tell him that, you know, I need to open up. You know, this is the state. I have a sick brother. I may not be able to concentrate as I'm expected to. I work for a very busy organization. And targets are targets. Delivery was a delivery. So sometimes you need to open up on what is happening in your life for people not to think you're a non performer. Thank God my boss understood and he supported me. Wednesday I had a meeting with one of my colleagues at work till about six. He says, I'm emotional, like I said. Seven thirty, I fear because I I I'm emotional. I would, I, let me say that. I packed my car, I met like you know, ICU is complicated because I wasn't I wasn't supposed I wasn't on the list to, to be in the room, yeah? It was uh, the wife and I think that I couldn't see Martin. 
Oh, Dr. Sekabila, I had known Dr. Sekabila. He looked at me, so he was wearing a black tie and a white shirt. This is one of Martin's siblings. Sorry for your loss. That's when I lost it. They had to practically carry me up to where we were. That is summary of what we were able to do for Martin. None of us. We had very limited information. Very limited. I'm telling you, Martin would be there for anyone, wherever he would be. I had stopped going to doctors. Our friends would call us. I would call Martin to support them, to help them with whatever illness they were having. So I'm like, how can we fail to be there for Martin? How can we not be there for Martin? My brother was willing to get an air ambulance to transport Martin. We never, we, we never. And I'm representing everyone. We have questions. If we get answers, we shall get closure. I'm sure Dr. Ming can testify to this. I've spoken to few people just to ask them, but how? How? I mean, when we had that testimonies yesterday, like, how? How can Martin be malnourished? How can Martin? How can Martin be like this? Joshua went with Becky to pick Martin in the mortuary. Joshua hasn't been the same. Joshua is the last born. He's, we are praying that he's able to collect himself and come to terms with it. But like, how? How? And that's the how I'm leaving everybody. My daughter wants to do medicine because she was so inspired by Dr. Martin. I'm like, mm, is this medicine? We have unanswered questions. Please help us understand. Help us understand. Help us understand. Thank you so much. Let's rest in peace. Please, we love you. We love you and we mean it. I agree with you. You have beautiful children. I am extremely sure Martin is in heaven. I told everyone Martin had a, Martin had a pure heart. He was the purest among us, all of us. Nothing had to mind. Martin is in heaven. Thank you so, so much. the presence of the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Mara University of Science and Technology and the Executive Director of Mara Regional Referral Hospital. Thank you for journeying to be with us. I also want to recognize reps from Michael Oloch and family, Thomas Oloch and family, Nikan Resort. Thank you so much. We are past that point and the time is fast spent. We want to thank you so much for continuing to be with us. We have two speeches left. One from the parents, Mama Damali and Koja Kasana, which will come next. And after that, we'll have Martin's father's speech. So we ask you to continue to bear with us. Uh, Mama Damali and Koja Kasana, uh, please come. And as they come, uh, the conveniences, the places of convenience are on my right and my left, if you go straight ahead, you will be able to see the places of convenience for you, for those that might need to use them. But we thank you so much for bearing with us. Jesus.
Mamanga de Sassano, Obama in Pagano, then Pagasa, and God would do it in Pagano, but to do with us. Familia Martin, Viz Navana, put the moment by unusual, they go to know the day, or come around. But like when I was over the Martin, to a Casachimo to be the Sava, a million jabro, and get it to one day a month, a good Jangavi, and to Anga. You know, the other things in the this Navana, Umbanga Sopora, Amina Kumani, Jeho and Oituri, Natuagala, Opaka Casa, Opagara Pafe, and Natuagaro Casavida, which you've been a chairman for Avanji. That testimony, Yafe, Viva Kiriza, Baro Poka, took his anti Yesu, Ariomu, we took Kiriza. Some bad day in Sava. Rama Madame Marina Puruange, Liz Navana, with Jeff Hono, the Philip Sabbath Power. shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And so, Father, we come to you in the name, that name, that precious name that you have given us, through whom we have redemption, through whom we have the forgiveness of sins, through whom we have access to the throne of God. Father, none of us is worthy. But we come to you by your grace through faith. So, Father, in this moment, we come before you. On behalf of Martin, on behalf of Liz, on behalf of the children that you have blessed them with, and through them blessed us with. Father, we repent of anything, every thought, every word that has been spoken, 
in anger, in pain, that he has been wrong, we repent. And we ask, Lord, that by your mercy and by your grace, you help us to forgive one another. Father, your word says, let no debt remain outstanding, except that debt to love one another. And so, Father, we come standing on that word to commit ourselves as a family, that we shall let no debt remain outstanding, except the debt to love one another. Give us the grace to understand what this means. We may not know, but by the power of your Holy Spirit, you are able to reveal to us. I pray, Lord, that we shall walk in the victory that is promised to every believer, just as Dr. Martin has been. We thank and praise you for your presence in this place. We thank you, Lord, because you are starting a new thing, and we receive it with thanksgiving and praise. In Jesus' name I pray.
Ngo mzade huli jom kubiliza habana. Kubiliza habana. Siba nubo kana. Kubanga mwumateke kumi. Teke ya wakateli gambo. Liga mati. Kita wano nyoko basa. Nga mwajitiwa. Bla 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 bla. Simanye. Chitua. Kale. Kakati nengate. Wetunu leteke. Nedibira wakati. Wogele waguru. Gakwa atoka tonda. Wote woka wansi. Gakwa atoka kunsi. Agawasi ge mwe mwe tuja ge kodi chelia. Nechi baadhi, chuo kaka taka ngo mwana, o kuto namba baka dibo. Hata chiko miaka, uba mwe na muri chiku mi uba no nokso nokso o mwa vera mwana o mwa na vera mzadi. Nchini nebiye sinti ya inpeze miaka kumi na mna na noro chuo. Biori, biori, ah, mati ni yano, alina via via wadeko, ya kuzi, alina via kuzi, na hii mubutu fumba ya sumani yeti mati ni yemoto, we moge yako kakaati, ije sisi mani yangu kuko, zemani yeti mutabani wani, ni yuko mau, ni atelero, mula bango mutu. Owe njia ulo, awali no funa nyiziwa, azina abutu kiliza. Kakati nechiba atino, nge umutawani wangi, nifuni ya uwa. Hati chichibuze, chichena kusa. Mwobo kwa ndechi nunachino, owe chibuze soka, nifuni ya uwa. Bifuna, nifuni ya uwa, weba anga bifuna, nifuni ya uwa. Kati tambu ude, na hivi nyali tambu ude. Kalau awak ni dah bantu dalam dalam, ni cila lah. Oh kubanti, engkau yang ambil awak awal tu. Kubil ada aku mira kos senta. Tetapi aku nak bagi nyawa yang kalau mungkin tu. Nya semua doktor HT tu. Waliu waliu awak tu tukar engkau tu. Ada waliu 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 tu mu mu guni mu mu luzung mu cewa itu neighborhood. Tiba tu kau kubat. Hei kakati ndoze chifani yewa chifunye Yewa tu usewa nu Yewa la wanti hei Kati tumula vile na ye Wanuwa ye kukuma Kale hivyo na mati na wetu kiliza Mungeri ye Na ye nga Nandi wa sabie Nesi Kati mbaita wa siblings Waganda we Wanyina we Tuno kweba za mukama. Tuno kweba za mukama. Mwishichoku uchoke na mwebye mchimu. Nti simanye alwade. Tuhake ndo kumula wa chichichichi. Ngawe ngambi ya okufa kuluno kuwela kutuka. Mbaibu li mwurimu wa mtuwa mwye kanze. Gwe nasoma ko. Atafwa na ziki bwa. Nze kwe suma ko. Wai zo kuwela yu mwela. Na hiyo uliku inasuma ngeba hivu uwe wanji kapuka Mukama na mtu wala kutiribu Yani ye enoka Nibye sebo Kale enoka ye mukama ya mtu wala kutiribu Tai itakuwa wansi wa mtu Na hiyo vango waliyo mlana Na ya ebaja kukulewa na wabite gira Kakati ni mbaka ni mbega hide Wakoja babana Wamama babana Wani, kwe, tunu kwe bazomu kama olwevi kuruwa vye ya sobo za mati ni okukwala. Mati ni ya li perfecti mwini mitende jone jie joku sama kwe. Mwini wasa simanyina ye, okutuka mwe 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 King's College Udo, ya li perfecti. Kampala Paris, chechimu. Munasare, Ya mara yu wiki ya mune wa mua wa perfect. Kani ya chibati. Evie ufuna njiba ya buta andika mtu. Nuhige mbega hizi banda nge. Ifue mtu sabira hawa sigadio. Bali. Beta aga sara no kusinga sente. Neteke ilagana. Jangan kau ikut, ikut kau dah kau. 
Bakari bangi tebaso ma. Oluzungu tebalu mani. Ni baso ulokola kana na bazungu. Masomira aga mumsele biyo. Gona voga bazungu. Zidin soma. Ea o mzijo kila mo headmaster lumu ya gama tulave chisiruti. Sanya mkuru abona abu na yenga chilo ane chiza anya buzanyi. Nolicho. Ukubaku atampola nebara wa chitufu. Chichinasi. Chichiba kolera. Chichiba kolera. kolera na ye. Omuka ma. Nenga uje chibaku atamu. Na gambie. Umsakala eh, ukubaku ulidanga vei tamfunzi. Wa vei taba abati. Wabule kwa. Echo nachi ganye. Nachi gani didala. Si mfunzi. Si wabule kwa. Nolicho. Bakuata empora, baadhi ya kuita mu, baadhi ya kuita mu ngaba na baada, yambe gaida tu bateke mu sala za fe buri we tu beera. Kali mkuicho, muziki zetu ni yonge ukubwa ukubwa simba bi na bi mto kolede, si bora ganda wa fe, mwana wa fe, mkuano wa fe, ani doctor wa fe. Tino, watu wa bade. Nechi yala mani, wa chino chini doza kati, nulio njizo kuchio vilo kubi. Kwa hanga, nze mkuki za kwa hanga. Mukama, ya onya. Tino, mukama, aja anjavo mubili, obe buangelio, obe kizimba, na aja anjavo no muoyo. Na hefe, ujira nyo 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 ujako makumubili kunyama yoka. Nechi lala, tetugenda nyumu mbukugu. Tubeko we tukoma. Kubanga voda ye, wogena mbaibuli. Waliyo wanabagu kukaneba gama atina ye ya vera wa. Tugende. Watu uka wakatio, kujo mano nyeti ya vera wa. Wanga wazi mbulu, omunara. Watu uka wakati. Ila mukama agani la dola nchini, abantu mano ba gizuwa niu, katu kuli boi tu boi tu. Nole chuo, boi chipe ila o, wali o msawi na me na mire mbe mnyia kaje sambu nenka o ba di. Ngai ba ngati na kuwata konga agenda kujanja ba, muso kasa. Ni aje tu fanya ba sawo ni ba jo mchima muno ni ba kuteka muri ni bokora ba. Tutu so kukuza ukusema mtuwe gunu wa kuteke gunu Na hika te ania na vera ani Kale vana ya nze mbega ili de Yevi yobi yevi mu Yenani sabi yetu tutunuli de Omoka matu vere He mati na umre mire mbe Tuja nafwe Mkama ngasimye tutuke yu Muy valiño, muy valiente. Agua que tú cabal no va con ella uno, cuando como chico no, me vale Joshua, no me chala voy me va con otro va con bonna bonna, o va con bonna, me voy de este one.
Пасху будет.
Na ye tata Roberti anengi ya summarizing ze mo kuogera kona. Nasoma ko psychology.
era ni integera ati biemba de soma si bi avalala ne imba de nga soma bili lokuba nga biyangi so na biranga ali na engeri ja semerera mu oba ja semere de mukatonda ne bigambo bya yogera wano kubanga ali na kwategede asoboro kumuyisa umbera zona omutwe go bakabwa ne kugamba kyosiga kyosiga what you saw Ensigo yon neba ensigo. Ne asere ensigo. Ensigo yon wakendo ensigo. Bulichinti chon na ejini me ensigo ojisimba ne mela. Elamu e mela e kula. Teko makula kwa kaa na yeri no kuwale mwala. Eli ensigo yoko zechi. Yosise. Bulichinsigo ensigo eli no kula mwala. Eri nsige yo esigibwa nemera nga elino kukula bwe kula wesunga amakungula agensigo je wakola chi je wasiga era mo mango no sige nsigo ononye nsige nonji sibu yo bakedo jali wa ne wangu ade obakedo tuli no bakedo wano sulo kwa wane bikabi obakedo wano na hii ni kimo tayari ni wapo, na hii ni ati kima la, elenga na wachi ya gomba, na hii na kuhusu wapa kedo kuchia chwali na chitema, ati chadam, ni ati ni ndani chitema, na mbwa oha kwenye chileka kati, jina la wanguoka, na hii, ati chipa ku, kuchikolo chini, nita diska singa, oha nge sese, kuchilekeo, na hii. Chari chova kedo nga chirunji nyo. Nga wachiraba. Era wachiraba wote. Era singa. Obiku mwanya no bitu alamu katale. Buli agula wova kedo. Buli wova kedo. Achikula chi? Achikula. Nga chira vika burunji nyo. Nga chinene. Nga chinyirira. Na ye. Ova kedo uyu. Osobola. Ava kumutie nini na avwa. Chari no sasa chava kozechi. Akuze, na yoso wano mtelekela wiki sibidi, nga taye engerana. Mutipwe choku engera, nga avunda bufunzi. Elamu haba anga, awakonda konda kusara, huzi ngelele. Tali iwa, nga amela noyo. Zinze na musimba na musa wanga uku kanisa na ena motema. Kwa hange vyo kunu mienjala, nga siso wola. Haba tumei besu ngoba keto. Na yema osanga nga ngatari ika. Buli chosiga, chokungula. Buli wosige nsigo, elaba nimi. Ononya wali nsige nungi. Sibu ni kasori omusima, ne wangu wade kasori alibwa. Omusizi wa nsigo, anonye nsige nungi, jage ndo kushiga. Nga manyiti wenasiga, eja kumpa ama kungula, ama nungi. Muli na hanga kulugana? Muli imba lugame tuwe tulisi imbi wa maso kaka tuona. Tuli nyonyola? Ebi yakuti. Paulo atuteke za mutawe chaba galatia. Esule yomu kaga. Nori nyiriri omu mwenda. Muli mtu kiosiga kiokungula. Muli wosigo bubi okungula bubi. Wosigo burunji okungula bubi. Bulunji, mbega ili amatu wakatonda amali wano. Mtibuli chosiga, chokolachi, chokungula. Evi sila wevi timba mamati ni. Walo mtu wafa no gamba vana mienga afude nyo. Bosi nzila kukujuli zikono vade wano kuli omucha ayo kera. Nga, era, walo no gamba vana. Nja wala pote keza, ma medical team. Mati ni abate na mwe. Mati ni abate na mwe. Ila mwili wakami ya tiyabate chicha wabwe, abate papa wabwe, abate chichigyo na, abate na mwa atambu tena mwili. Na yyo yinzo kumaliliza mwe mkulu, nga matu waka makalu msajia na hafa singone ya famu. Kane singone ya hafa, abate waka luji neva ba, neva neva sigala. Kane singa, nandi katiduwa rote licha anyuma. 
Mwenye, kani singono ya pamu, kwenye na asigara, ejo jiba kuji, nsigo, nsigo mbi, mbi na ina batu wa katunda wali wano, lone nsigo jiosiga, ngeneso wana, okukungula kama kungula, ata kani uomera, haba anabu. Mwenye na ame, wani, ngati mtu nulila, banyi sisa, Kata kwa mba nini? Wadi wu, ensimo nyosida, ngegenda kaa ila abana wu. Abana wali jitema. Nga atene wasigila. Abana wali ya kukwone intana ayo abalaro wu. Mwana alipeli nenyondo, alikona na malaro wu. Luansiko jwa kona chiki. Wekene leza ukusida ensimo, Ensigo nyugendo kumena mabana mba jini yako Nga basa nyuka Ila mba 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 Umana wani, umana mati Bana ngo musajwa ya ni musajwa mulu uni Tanda uni Nga batu wano ndola ni wangu wate wafwa Nema wano wano ndola wana mba Jotari Ni wana mba tuwabale kawe Tuwazi kila wana mba adi weba Nga wano wano nyeleza Mti umano uyo kati Ya nino za mti Na ite tamazeko yu mbase Nga wano mba Bamunonya, ensimo eleta kunonyo mwana u. Wanuwe ensimo tutuletila, tutuletila, tutuletila. Ani, oh, mwana wani? Oh my God. Ha, bamunonyo mwana, nebu wama, nebu wama mwana 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 Oto tuta tuta tuta, aba wala mo na ba wenye moshi, uyo kwa na mpyo kwa sa, eyo family, njaga na kuteke zanziko, aba tuwaja kugane zanziko yo, zanziko tijo yo sisi mubra mwenye, kumuli mugo, ngal katonda kwa dono muri, oni na zanziko tij, kasi mwe biga mwe, Galatians chapter, chapter six. We say it was nine. Galatians chapter six, verse nine. Let me start from verse eight. Those who live only to satisfy their own sinful nature will harvest decay and death from the sinful nature. But those who live to please the Spirit will harvest everlasting, everlasting life from the Spirit. So, let us not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. Therefore, whenever we have the opportunity, we should do good to everyone especially to those who is in the family of faith. Whenever you get opportunity, never miss it to do good. God has given us opportunity in the offset. On our side, go as so many. We can talk about office. Who are you guys in your class? Go as singer. You have a singer in class. You have a name in your mind. So what you need? Mukama have what opportunity? When God gives you an opportunity, never means to do good. As a medical personnel, Bagambi Martin, one or two of the Chino, one way of Gambi, and Martin in the name Simbi, at one as they get Dagalam, what is the Mu, Galabo Notalina, what is our full red wine, Nagan and Aloya Dagalay, and Adibra who sent his day, Nazirata. That's why we are celebrating Martin's life. Because he did good. <laughs> when you call a Mirunji, we call me Yanga Badawa. Never miss an opportunity to do good. Tony never look for Mirunji, you call a Mirunji or your Coco Mirunji. Ah, in Doctor Tedir, in Zoga no Kutere Rango, putting a match. I feel them economy. In Zoga, they get up to Kama, in Uyzo Tabara, Nova Nicola, Pesazatan, or Kwana, Mukama Mutut. When are you waiting to do good? When? Never miss the opportunity to do good. When God gives an opportunity, 
wherever you are, as a mother in home, do good. As a father, wherever you are, never miss opportunity to do good. Walo amaka, nga nukucha ama moku nyo ama zitiganyu eka, muku wanga bakoni. Never got a freeze at a heart, a guy or guy with you. Now, Gomaka, Catotu Kogera Boot. Teacher to get a Kogera. Mikwana Dava Raganwa, Monsimova Catona to one day or good day, or one day or one day, and just in one. Today is yours, tomorrow is not yours. Because you don't know. Martin loved to, to, to be alive today, but he's not. When are you going? Do you know it? Era mo kama jira jikuweka. Singa tu ati ge era ti dunor we tugeenda. Tu ande ba de tu kole bila labi. Era na dina walwo. Ati wange. Mugu kira makabwe kumi bili. Mugu kira. Wali wachi. Wangu merero. Wali wangu merero. Kuma kongo. Ogwe kumi bili ngatu kuyingira.
muganda wangu yagenda kubano ba ba meidi ka Saudi Arabia yagenda ku college kakati umana yagala passport akola mu internal affairs kakati ono yagambi genda kiri mama wuli ona ko basobola kuya mako kuji ku passport umana na agende wa mama we mama we amogambe mugambe mama kuweleza kakate tukulonyeze passport mo amulonye za kakati amukolele ku passport mwana we guyandi badate kama amanyi kona unacho yagalo kola how can we na ya musabye kachi wa uli na jali we rumbo mu bombano ba meidi aloza ayola njoli mko mjanga bagalo katonda ba kwa dopise yo tuna kusabile mixa ndala kwategeza bo luganda abali wa luganda kama kusitude kwa abali wa nseno kwa kwa ba kutwala ye wa Omukisa kwa fena watanda magezi. Boita watanda magezi. Kwa magulina. Tujia kuwa nolayo. Tujia. Mwebale kutujia njama. Ela makose mulu uji mwebale. Na ye wanu waba bi. Nutu uka mutu wali ena kune kwe yongela. Awonu gana gana kutete za antio kumanyi ile chintu. Tetsi tifula chirunji, kuwa hawa wamani la o kufa kuwa hawa kuzi kakati tifu kati chirunji, nuno tuwa kalaba, tuwa kalaba wapa, awe ni kuwa, tuwa kalaba, weka ya kaya, eh sili kako na awe, tuwa kalaba wapa, awo bon si janja, kujia kuwa nulai. The blessing of God is on this local people, and the one who are praying for you. Mukama mwa mukisa, mwa sanyo yo, mwa na ba logo mwe bali, tani na kuari na ya loga, abo tuto matia, kuamba yesu ya kama, o wundi ya kama, tiri sira tiri chi, ina ba tia kuroga, nengo bicha, njaga la kusawa kato na kuwe na kuari wano, o yigo kula burundi, kumu kula kambu ya bantu, nuli ukuyu, mwa na njaga la muri mu, nuli ukuga, tuwa na experience, ya miaka kumi, ya kapu. Na kuhame na kutuwe mkono. Unusawe experience ya nyaka kuni. Ugungu mba kutuwe kwa kutuwe. Kwa wangu watandi ikane nyaka kumi. Kwa watandi ikane kumi kwe. Kati na ajikuli na wampu mkisa. Mga mbaji. Ogoru ganda. Tuwa kwa experience. Neja wosi odiro kono tia ringawa. Tufuna experience ya nyaka emeka. Kutuja kula mengelite tukunigawa. Bete nyaka kumi. Singawa nikuwe baani kwa domo ni mkwe. Abi mikuwa na burugana, mule no kukani ama tuwa masiga, ensigo joo siga, joge ndo kona ji, okungula, mba sabi na musige nsige nungi. Kwe mwena haji siga mwena kuna uruwezi wa mkama. Nule wana wansoko uletawo, wana waka kati, wata ambu doote. Wata ambu doote. Wata ni mga anawo. Ye wakenze ke kasawo. Kupa kevi. Ato ugeno kula na bantu wapi kaka sangi ebiliyo. Ato ugeno madiri sangi ebili nge bitaliyo. Nino na. Nino na baku kamba. Baku kamba. Baku kamba. Baku kamba. Baku kamba. Uwa genze na uwa genze keta sao. Ana nge. Uwa de gunu manyo. Bana. Muka matuwela bimi kwa. Musige. Ensigo. Ene ome la wana bapwe. Bana ajikungula. Tuja kuwela nesanyo. Mbasa viloku loko. Yesu ya jia. Abantu penaba dine vivi. Tukolechi. Tulokoke, elabwe tulokoka, atu chiosa. Metufuka, abenja uwe. Mukama atu beye, zendavi ya jisamu tulokoka. Now, more than my age, half of my age, zendavi ya jisamu kuriso yesu. Vuma ako kwe chenda mwevi, kuleo zamati ni watu yenkani. Kuzi wa, wa sebe ni wati? Ah, mwusi inga ku, nitu wa sebe ni tefu. Nei, half of my life, Mutambuli demu kuriso yesu. Ndani yungu nji wa mukama. Mukama tayua. Mwono koki. Kwe mwona alokoka. Mwja kura wungu nji wani. Mukama asoko loku situla. Nzayo kira saali chintu. Haa saali. Elaja jawange ya ampuza. Ya ampuza. Wanga tata. Bali baza nyeyo ne mama. Kwe wako lela. Nani wena jila. Nendela mikono jani. Ja ja ja. Ja ja ne banku uma. Ne banda milira. Nivanda milira, natata jari, umanyi walua masaja. Zipu bangu wopu simula, na yu kuronya wale, chochichi. Zipu, wama saja wali wano, 
katunda shitofi katunda mwana katunda mwe mtukuru kwe waliza dala mazima urechila wawe cha Dr. Martin Zituma kwe watu wape oktambla na ye nga mganda wape nga mkwano wape ngo muami ngo mkonga tata kwe waza wanga kwe mkwagara kwa wasimi ya kumutu wala joli ila tukunganyo wano kwe waza wano kumuwelekeda kakano amato wakunganyo wano wale sevila wubino Uro kwe baza uramo mwuru gando ono. Etuwa tukwe gaili la uvikili ze uvitukuze. Uro kuzimbo waka waka wumu kristo yesu mkama wafu. Amin. Ngatina za yomu zinda lugu no. Elie musi. Ka mbasabe mumpeye da kikapiri. Nyanjule abawele zabano. Jagala okusoko kwa njula. Umukubili za wafe wali wano. Aaaa. Mwami, ye musijamba. Atira, waliwo, ne, abakebe zinabuo webali, kumanga, umukulu wa yagala nyo oda. Ayagala nye mpemili oda li, umukulu wa ingi ni yoyo. Ayagala nye mpemili oda li. Eda, bumisi nga konga toko ze oda. Muli, tawuli la taba satisfied kari no aa oda yeyo kwa niliza kwa ya ya fe ya set steven ngabo mjuli de aa tu ina uwa zone leaders tu ina uwa aa omogolizi okuwa ebando mlina anuwa wa fe wano aa omogolizi nastani otesi atela tu ina uwa nemukate wa fe ordinant Mpalaji, achia soma buwe rezera ali mukono, yoyo, ayamba de, echapula. Nange, ni retired, retired mubo rezera ba ni matobu, wanondi muko. Ela, mukono yamba ni chiti wanyo, wachi ni koko baba taji na ampapo, echoa wachi yo. Nigeria, ela nze, mumakaba no police na mbela wanonga tu, tu cha tinga, tu cha tinga. Mukama abampere nyomo kusa akazinda alonja kala kaza ye wenu si Oni nyomo ye bali etala Isera kitose tutanse okulaba ku nkomerero obe ntandi kwa ye nkomerero yokwe baza gwe yokwe baza roga kwa gado tunatini Mukera kino musabido kutigeza abantu je eje tukenda kuteka Mbili kwa mganda wa funda, tuke na genda mbi tundu tundu. So, tetusobo na kutiayu mwondi, pina mwondi gumu. Musoke kutu gumi kisiwa kabona, ni family, badja gena. Nye tetunaba, tetunaba, kwa 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 Agabie ababuziza Ie uluganda Boi mujeri ajakuwa kila uluganda Na ie nusajakuwa kila uluganda Ie nusajakuwa kila uluganda 
um, I've been commissioned by God. So thank you very much, Julia. God bless you. To to Soxima, Eli, Doctor Louis, Louis, Luailume. Eya imi nda wo na fe mo trip says as okay namba rogeza pop tegera chi echiruma Martin and how we could help. To to Soxima, Eli. The Department of Admin of Uganda Revenue Authority, the management and staff of Uganda Communications Commission, the Redeemed Church of the Lord, Pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja, Miracle Center Cathedral, Girl Power Ministries, Katale Busawula Church of Uganda, Tubeva Zanyo, Aken Suso, Kubanga, Church of Katale Busawula Church of Uganda, Tata Jasavida, Ilave Mikwano, Jelawe Nange, Elo Tuliwova Anji, Na ye, on average days, Tata Vida Owa no ye ka, Ni Iva Mulambula, Bamula Go Mkwano, Bamu Kebida Ko, Baja Neva Musima. Tutu sa okusima eli mulago hospital ICU team. Mwanga mati mbebatu kama nchajamu ICU. Bamu linda ila nebamu isibi. Ngani tukuma nebamu wa VIP treatment. No mkwano. Not because of money but there was a lot of love that he received from that team. Tutu sa okusima the entire medical fraternity, especially Dr. Sekavira and Dr. Sandy Kadiwa, ne Dr. Muyingo, who was managing Martin, the Charlie Barra. Thank you very much. Tutu Soksima, Eli, the employers of Martin, Barra Referral Hospital, and uh, they are represented by the director. We will have one minute to greet the people. And the uh, employers of Martin Qualcomm Ne Barra University, Ne Bethany Kids Project, Tutu Soksimedi, the Stan Big Bank family, Trevor Zanyo Solomon Luwaga in a very special way. Because Twali Kampala, Solomon works in Barara, and so many times he was our eyes on the ground when we didn't know what was going on. Solomon, thank you very much, and may God bless you. You're not Jehovah. To see my Uganda, my father, my kid, my baby, 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 my Bakoja, Neva Mama. We were in your two Kumakuma, to our Gumi de Kumwe, Ela to our Vesigania Ponyo, Ela to Japsigalanga to Gumi de Kumwe. Trevor Zakoja Casanani Mama Damali Mungeli and Jaulo, Kuanga Bat Quata Kumukono, when we didn't know how to, what to do or how to do it within the boundaries of our intervention. Trevor Zakoja. The current and former and former staff of UNHCR, whoever the current and former staff of the UN, whoever the King's College Bordeaux class of 1990, 1991, and 1997, whoever the Kavinja class of 90, the old students of Kampala Parent School and King's College Bordeaux generally, the Rotary Club of Wevaja. The squad, the personal in Nevaza, the B and B ancestors, Trevaza Jackie and Kak Katende, Lillian and Ben Sewan Kambo, Mr. Alan Div and Dr. Rona Mijombi, Mr. Henry Ayo, Benjamin and Zachary, members of Pillars Investment Club, the service providers, Sebo Mami DJ Trevaza New Kwanga, Okuba Thursday. DJ Avadad Kubira Lalabais, we were really scared. Nainga, Tela Kenyi, Bais, Tuzama, Mani, Zitubu Dabuda. Thank you very much. Trevaza Avad Badiba Tekekera, a medic for all these days. It's not been easy.
ya tukasima nyo kubanga tuwezi kujia kusawala chiko lecho. Tuwewa za Makere University Medical School class of 1996 and 2001. One for another international. Kasese District Medical Fraternity. Holy Innocent Children Hospital in Barara. Eurocare Hospital. Engineer Chisa. Mr. and Mrs. Claire Kawe, Mr. and Mrs. Kawesa, Old Budonians University Chapter, Mbarara, the family of Mr. Odeke, Mwami John Nakawale, and last Last but not least, as a family, Fakalokwe was Dr. Elizabeth Situma. Thank you for the years you've been with Martin. Thank you for the family you've given Martin. Thank you for nursing him up to this point. And uh, we love you, we love the children. And may God uphold you through this season of your life and all other seasons to come. Thank you very much. Now, before I leave, the director of Mbarara University would like to greet the people as uh, Martin's employer with a quick condolence message before we hand over to the church. Thank you. very much uh, the religious leaders here thank you the family Mangali, and all the mourners the medical fraternity uh, we are a team of these two institutions Barara Regional Far Hospital where Martin was working for the last eight years and Mara University of Science and Technology where he was teaching for the last eight years. We have with us the heads of these institutions. Uh, they will introduce themselves. But I want to say that, Jose, uh, thank you for producing a child who had a vision. I happened to meet Dr. Situma in 2014, where he, sh he shared his vision with us for teaching, but also treating the patients. We worked through, we shared it. We all know that, yes, his body has gone. He has shared his vision with us. We want to make sure that his dream lives on. And we'll make sure that that happens. The hospital has a condolence message which will be given to you. And we have also enclosed two million shillings for bio contribution. Yeah, the parents, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mara University of Science and Technology, which you have seen in many works, but only to recognize the staff and the students from Mara University of Science and Technology. Kindly, where you are, just put up your hands. Yeah, just look there. So that's in Barra University of Science and Technology, both staff and the students. Now the doctor has been working with us, but I want to say three statements about the doctor. So much. This is not a time for speech, I would have said more. Number one, he was an exceptional professional. An exceptional professional. That's the first statement. The next statement, he was an exceptional professional as far as we are concerned. And the third one who was exceptional, and we need, may his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. And uh, we just came with seven million, and we have already passed it over to the family. Thank you. Uh, dear mourners, my name is Dr. Siku Chengera, and I'm the head of the department where Martin has been working. But, uh, the man of God has just told us always to look good whenever we are given the opportunity. Kindly, just allow us to look good, uh, as the man of God has said. 
I really wish to be allowed to pass on the condolences from my family, most so they were directed to the children of Dr. Situma. This one came directly from my children. When they learned that I'm coming for burial, they all went into tears. They are almost the same size. They asked me two questions. One, that they have been praying for Dr. Situma. That is starting from Monday. And when they learned that Dr. Situma has died, and I'm coming for burial because I'm not told them, they all went into tears and asked me why has he died when we have been praying for him. The second question was, who is going to be the dad of those kids? And it was really tears. Me, I also cried, but in the heart. I, don't, I never wanted to show them that I'm crying, but that was it. A man who was not known to them, but they were praying for him because I told them I have a friend who was sick and who was in ICU. So really they were praying hard, and it, I mean, it was really so sad. All has been said about Situma, who was a good man and who was a yardstick. If you wanted to define a good man, you would put Situma and you start measuring all the others where they are good. I have my dean here with me. He will not speak. Thank you very much. Abana wuna abalina tisa chinga geno, obang geno, mujimu mugiro kwa tibi muri, natu inda engu. Pastor Abayizi okuva Mbalala University namwe mujje mu kwate kubimuli okuwekera muganda wa
Sabe, <laughs> Tutuwayo mbulumi wabunji wa kufa utakuma. Wamanyi mkama ali ya mitima jafe. Tuziba matuka agechisa. Olo kusaba kwa fe. Neo tusasire. Mkama mtuku venyo. Ayo katunda singabu nobu yinza. Ayo mloko zo mtuku vu. Ayo no kusasira. Gomulamu zo mlungi. Uwe mirembe na mirembe. Ntuku za fe sukezo. Bwezi tukezo kufa. Tutuleka kufa mkono go. Olo mbona obo kufa. Tuja kuimbo rimba Tusatu kaka munana Alwa nyoto
okutuwa lewe obulamu bw’olugando no Martin Situma omwagalwa afudde kye tuva tuteeka ombiri gwe mutaka ettaka mutaka evumu vu enfufu mu nfufu nga tusubira nga tetubusa busa nga tutegeeredde ddala nga tulira bo kuzukizibwa eri obulamu obutakoma kuwa mukama wa Face Kristo ali wanyise mibiri ja fe jitali ja chitibwa jiyoke jifana neno mbiri gwe ogwe chitibwa nga manyi ga manji agakola bwe gali agali muyinzi sawo kweje mulire ebintu byonna na ulira endoboze eriba mukuru gali nga manji wandi kanti bawere dom sabafu abafira mukama wa fe okutanga lero we wawo bwayogera omoyo bayoke ba omule mutegana kwabwe I am come out to Dilemo. I am come out to Dilemo. Staff day, Animu Guru, Elinia Yorish Kutwe, Waka Kamo Buche, Yagara Kuremusi, Nami Kuliwa Mukuru, or Tuene Maya Piano, for Sonyo Kuna Pate, Naka Sonyo Kuna, or Tuanam Kemewa, Nayus Mokolemo V, Amina. I Katunda in Zabiona. Emiyo jawa wafa, wafira wanomu kama wafe joli wawalamu. Emiyo jawa wakini zawe jima loku wa mugu gogo mbili guno. Jimena na awe nga jisa nyuka. Kwe baza nyo. Kufango ya gade ukuloko loru gando na muna kwe zomu nseno. Ye vivi. Kukwe gairiwa. Kwe ya gala uwe chisa chechiru unji. Okutuki liza mangu wa muendo kwa wala ondevo. No kuangu ya kubu waka waka buo. Fea wamu na abo wana wafu anga wakiriza na mazimeri nyari etu kufu. Tulioke tufune sanyo liya feli tu kilira elita bulako. Elio mviri na elio mwoyo mchitiri wacho ichitakoma ichitakuawo kuwa Yesu Kristo mkama wafu. Amin. Rai katono kusasira kwa mkama wafu Yesu Kristo. Yeko ya kuzukira na ugulamu. Buli akiriza ya liba mula muna wakwa denga afude. Na wama mamu amokiriza. Tali fai merembe ne merembe. Ya kujisa mtumo mtumo. Obuta na kule anga wa kira mwye. Nga wa tanina sobi. Tukwe gairira. No umbefu. Achafe. Okuzo kiza. Fe mkufa. Okwe vi. Ere una mwutu kilivu. Betuliva. Mulambu no. Tumulia wetcho mwye. Nga wa tusobi ra. Oru ganda. Mati onu wa mwde. Era mukuzukira kwa bantu bonna na kuna komerero tulabike nga abasimbwa mu masogo to mukusogo omwana omwagala bali bawa bonna kuna koli abamwagala era amutya ngagama anti mujje ana kitangi bawo mukisa mukiso bwako bwako batetatekirwa nse nanga tezinna bawo otwebyo tukwega idai tafo kusasira kona I'm Kama Face Christo, Wakaba Kuntana Yalaza, Lo, Eda, Yakuba Zabo Naba, Liba Filidua. Truly, the nature, sir. Abazade ba mati niono, mchala we na abana vi, ne mikuwa noje, mchisera chino, icho kuvibwa kichi la bocha bwe chino, oba gumi, oba kuba gize, oksinga biyo naba vi roktegeira, nti katonda yawa, ira katonda yajawo, ebiyo biyo natu visabie, kubuvo omlokozi wa fe, ero mnono ziwa fe, amen.